Hey everybody, I'm Incredi Jedi. Uh, I mean Incredi Guy. And thank for watching this video. And I got Incredi Alert. Incredi Alert. Huh? Enemies? Where's my lightsaber? Oh, I forgot. I'm already at home. I got really bored in the Death Star, so I decided to come back home. And I'm making this video for you guys. And do you have Cheat Engine or do you want to use Cheat Engine or at least do you know Cheat Engine? And are you wondering if it's safe? Does it harm your computer? Because most antivirus tend to say that that Cheat Engine has a virus. Well, if you do, you've come to the right place. Watch this video. Hey everybody, this is Guy. Thanks for watching this video. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about Cheat Engine, and I'm gonna prove to you that it's really safe and doesn't affect your computer at all, and it's 100% safe and it's free, easy to use. Before starting this video, this video is requested by Clear Magic for the win, and he wants me to do a video, to make a video proving that Cheat Engine is safe, because most antiviruses tend to say that it is. It has a Trojan horse virus, so I'm gonna prove to you that it's safe. First of all, if you don't know Cheat Engine, okay, Cheat Engine is commonly abbreviated as CE. It is an open source memory scanner hex editor or debugger created by Dark Byte for the Windows operating system. Cheat Engine is used for cheating in computer games and is often modified and recompiled to evade detection. This program resembles L spares memory hacking software, D search and art money. It searches for values input by the user with wide variety of options to, that allow that allow the user to find and sort through the memory database. Cheat engine can also create standalone trainers that can operate independently of cheat engine. So this cheat engine I'm gonna give you all the links in the video description links to all these links here that I have here the link in the video description at the right of this video and if you're using the beta layout of the new YouTube layout beta layout of YouTube the video description might be down here or if you're watching this video in HD or in a larger size the video description might be down here so check it out so cheat engine is a a a program that lets you cheat in any games like mostly i i've used cheat engine for over two years now i think and i haven't got any viruses yet or any any viruses or any trojan horse or anything and it's safe okay i've used cheat engine for online games like runescape farmville on facebook rock riot and lots of games club penguin before i think it was in 2006 i think i've used this for over th three years now three years it's a really long time i can't really remember but i haven't got any viruses yet okay so this is cheat engine and it's a program that lets you cheat in any game so download this and it's free it's virus virus free and it's 100 percent free and virus free I'm gonna be making more videos about cheat engine, how to use it in in the future. I'm gonna make videos about this, but in this video, I'm just gonna focus in in cheat engine. On I'm just gonna, but in this video, I'm just gonna focus in one thing. I'm gonna talk about cheat engine if it's safe and just harm your computer. Okay, so let's exit cheat engine. Okay, I've done a research and I've got many results okay <clears throat> is cheat engine really safe well there are four solutions to this problem this this is originally from the author or developer of cheat engine he said there are four solutions to this problem don't install cheat engine or send cheat engine to antivirus vendor and tell them to remove the detection and wait few years, a few years till they do it or uninstall your antivirus 
and if your or if your antivirus supports it, add cheat engine to the ignore list. And don't worry because the developer is working on the next version and in the next version he'll bring out two versions, the original version and the retarded agent version, which will have no drivers, so no viruses. And lacks a lot of features. So people are worried about stuff that can happily use the retarded agent version and feel safe in their nice little bubble of fake security and probably won't be able to do much with it. But hey, it keeps them happy, right? Okay. And if you're wondering why the driver is detected, that that is because it's some of the ZWSSXX functions exported by Windows meant to be used by drivers. And it's also uses and it also uses the export variable KE service descriptor table also provided by Windows to be used by drivers. Now since antivirus programmers have no idea how to detect how to detect how to te detect a root kit, they just look at suspicious behavior and any driver that uses those functions that are exported by Windows is classified as a Trojan root kit. That's kinda like saying that everyone carrying a gun is a psychopathic murderer while only 85% of them actually is okay I also have this this website and does cheat engine affect your computer at all or affect your computer at all well the answer is yes and no because if you set some of the options such as kernel mode and stealth mode then it does change a value or add something to your registry the same way that any other kernel debugger would. So to begin with, cheat engine does not change your computer at all. But if you want to, but if you want it to, you can. So cheat engine is safe. It's one percent safe and it's free. And I I've, I've done a an online virus scan. So I've done an online virus scan here on virusscan.jory.org. You can visit this site and scan it on your own. And it scans the file. I've uploaded that file. The, I've uploaded Cheat Engine 5.6, and it doesn't have an, any viruses. And also, this website scans your file in saying lot, lots of antivirus. They use they use a lot of antivirus and scan your file using different antiviruses or scanners. And it found nothing in all of the scanners. But now. I downloaded Cheat Engine 5.5 and uploaded it and scanned it. And as you can see, it found nothing on these antiviruses or scanners, but in NOD32, it, it was detected as a Win32 Hot 2 Cheat Engine. But it's not really a virus, it's just the driver because, as I've said a while ago, <clears throat> most antiviruses detect it as a virus because of the driver. Because most antivirus programmers programmers have no idea how to detect a rootkit. They just look at suspicious behavior and any driver that uses those functions that are exported by Windows is classified as a Trojan rootkit. And as I've said a while ago that that's kinda like saying that everyone carrying a gun with is a psych psychopathic murderer while only eighty five of them actually is. So when so cheat engine is really safe and you can scan it on your own actually I'm gonna scan it right now my antivirus is Microsoft security security essentials so I'm gonna scan it right now just to show it to you I'm scanning actually here two files cheat engine 5.5 and cheat engine 5.6 cheat engine 5.6 is the latest version in this day okay so it's just it's just finished so okay so it just finished scanning and there were no threats or viruses in it I use Microsoft security essentials you can download this also this is for free download this always will be in the description of this video and okay so and if you don't have an antivirus you can just go to this website always will be in the description again and it's basically a website that provides antiviruses for Windows 7, Windows XP, and Windows Vista. Okay. 
so that's it for this video so cheat engine is safe and it does not affect your computer at all and it's yeah it's safe and you can download it in this link download it for free use it now and it's 100% safe virus free no viruses at all and thank you for watching this video please comment with subscribe visit my website at inquiryguide.com visit my blog at inquiryguide.info visit my other site the IP network at inquiryguide.net and also follow me on twitter this link and thank you for watching bye